Hello, I'm Dr. Herman again, and welcome back to another informative video about a topic that you may never have heard about, but this can be in your body from food you eat, and it may be causing your chronic health condition. Atrazine. Atrazine is a weed killer used in foods like corn, rice, and wheat. It's used on farms where you don't grow your own food. It's used by huge companies that make the food that go into your corn flakes, and it goes into the fruity pebbles, and it goes into your Wheaties, and it goes into your bread, and it goes into the bread that you're buying in the restaurant, and it goes into so many different foods and you don't even know it because you can't taste it. It has no odor. Atrazine is this weed killer. And this article that I found on the internet to report this to you is immunomodulatory effects of maternal atrazine exposure on male mice. Immunomodulatory, that means that this chemical can change function of the immune system in male mice. And this source is from Department of Microbiology, Immunology, and Cell Biology School of Medicine, uh, Health Sciences Center in West Virginia University, USA. You gotta believe it, coming from a university with all those credentials there. Inasmuch as atrazine is a widespread environmental contaminant, this immunopotentiation raises concerns that it may potentiate clinical diseases such as autoimmune disease and hypersensitivity. What is it again? Immunomodulatory effects of maternal atrazine exposure on male mice. They said that atrazine creates immunopotentiation and raises the concern that it can cause disease like autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease can be fibromyalgia. It can be Hashimoto's thyroid disease. It can be Graves' disease. It can be neuropathy. It can be psoriasis. It can be rheumatoid arthritis. It can be lupus. It can be a number of different autoimmune diseases. Here's this article called Prenatal Exposure to Pesticides Disrupts Testicular uh, Histoarchitecture so it disrupts the actual structure of the testicles and alters testosterone levels in male caiman, caiman, these different uh, animals, okay? And this source is from uh, School of Biochemistry Biological in uh, Argentina. This altered cell turnover was associated with decreased testosterone levels. So some men who have, I can't reproduce. Why can't I reproduce? My wife and I have been trying for years. Or men say, I feel sluggish. I feel I have got a low testosterone. I have low testosterone. So I watched the commercial for low T, and I went on testosterone, and I still feel crummy, and we can't get my testosterone numbers to be normal. Now, there's a couple of other factors in functional medicine. We understand about blood sugar disorders in men that can lead to low testosterone. But look at this. You may be eating all the proper grains that they're telling you to eat. And you have for movies and you have popcorn. And then you have your butter or your margarine or your soy. And it's sprayed with this stuff. And it alters your testicular function and it will decrease testosterone levels. Prenatal exposure to only one dose of this chemical disrupted neonatal male gonad histofunctional features, which means it changed the baby, before the baby was even born, it changed the testicle function, it changed the ability of the testicle to function. Alterations described here could have detrimental effects on sexual maturation of the caiman and ultimately, and ultimately really for any, any male, any male. It's changing the way the testicles are functioning. We present, and this is from that place in Argentina, we present experimental evidence that the effects of atrazine on male development are consistent across all vertebrate classes. That means not just in this animal they tested, but even all the way up to the god, you know, the human being, to a dog, to a horse, to a cow, to a human being. That it 
consistent across all vertebrate classes examined, and we present a state-of-the-art summary of the mechanisms by which atrazine acts as endocrine disruptor to produce these effects. Endocrine includes your thyroid, includes your pituitary, includes the parathyroid, includes the adrenals, includes the kidneys, includes the testicles. Atrazine demasculinizes male gonads producing testicular lesions, lesions in the testicles, and is associated with reduced that should be sperm cell numbers. Amphibians, reptiles, mammals induced. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just look at reductions in androgen male hormone levels and the induction of estrogen synthesis demonstrated in fish, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. So this, this wonderful weed killer that they're using on so many of the delicious foods that you're eating every day and you don't know what's been sprayed on them so that they can get it onto your table and have you eat food right away this can be in a man lowering testosterone and raising estrogen and even in a female it's causing endocrine disruption can that lead to a whole host of disorders in the body because you're in your chronic disease you've got to understand that your endocrine system your hormones are connected to your brain function it's connected to your brain chemicals it's connected to your immune system so in a domino effect if the hormones are out of order, guess what else went out of order? Your nervous system, your immune system, your everything. Does that make sense? So it's pretty uh, scary and pretty amazing that they don't tell you, excuse that noise here, but they don't tell you that this weed killer is still in use here in the US and it is causing hormone interruption. That's serious stuff. Thank you for letting me share this informative video with you. We need to figure out what's going on with your body as an individual and get you well, and we can. And it's not just about giving you a medication, an anti-inflammatory, or some hormone pill. It's not just about that. You've got to look at the body as a whole, okay? Thank you for letting me share this excellent information with you, and I look forward to sharing more with you in the future.